We're going to be looking at Google today, your trade of the day, brought to you by Day Trade the World. As always, check out the QR code just below to get your day trading journey started. Interestingly enough, on a day where Microsoft reports are having a great day, uh, and we'll talk some Tesla a little bit later on because that's going to be crazy. It was all about Alphabet. And what I love about this, Google Alphabet doesn't really matter, is the symmetry of the numbers. This is a 60-minute chart I have up here. But the other day, we got to pretty much exactly 100, and there were shorts off 100. As a day trader, we kind of like these really obvious sort of lines in the sand where you can sort of dig in and just say, let's just short the top, give it a really tight risk, and then your R&R &R is very clear, and you know exactly where you're wrong when it fails a certain level. However, in the afternoon yesterday, you had a kind of a bit of a head and shoulders on the 60-minute forming here uh, because there was resistance at 98. You had a 98 bottom in the afternoon. There were some good shorts off the 98 level. That's something we were focused on. So you get that $2, $2 from there is a 96. Now, everything was dragged to the downside. Not everything, but just about everything in big tech was dragged down by Microsoft earnings. And so that 96 level is going to be the first one to come in here. At the open, there was an attempted flush. It's kind of crazy because I actually was waiting around for 96, thinking, okay, I want to short off that 96 level. Let's see it pop up that $2. I think you can have a $2 range to that downside if it does. And it just starts wiping out at the open in the 95. It's like, oh, crap, you missed it. You don't have to chase the move in a situation like that. You know the price you want? At 930, a lot of times, mistakes at the NYC notwithstanding, you're going to have a lot of whipsaw action. And that's exactly what we got. Popped right back up. Wait for your price. Not short here at 95 half. Waited for it to challenge 96. You get a wick top, which means it broke that resistance at 96. Failed to hold above that price. And then slam right back down. So short just beneath that 96 level. And then from here, it's just a matter of getting out. Halfway to 95, we scalp some out. Now, a lot of times you're thinking, get some out in front of 95. However, you've got a 95 bottom here, double bottom. I'm thinking with the momentum to the downside and looking for this 94 level to get taken out on a bigger time frame, add to the position. You know, don't, don't take it out at that situation. Add to it on the 95 break. So while still in position, we add to it on the 95 break. Given we still have from, from 96, do want to cover some right in that 94, 75. A little bit more aggressive out because we are still covering from before. And then that point, once we've taken out 94 half, I'm just thinking about the test of the 94 area. A couple of things can happen when you get down into that price range. Either we're going to blow through this 94, in which case you've got a lot of chop, 91 and a half, 92 you can see, where you're probably likely to catch a bit of a bid, or we're going to reject the break of 94. And if we reject the break, I'm just out of the short. I've heard the term said before, uh, if abort the short, the long can't be wrong. And I suppose in this particular case, shout out to my man Luca, uh, that would have been correct. You know, we fail to break at 94, you get a couple of wick bottoms. I end up taking it out on this last retest. It did signify a good turn. I didn't go into the long in that one. If I was one thing that I could say could have been done better here is once you got to that ultimate target of 94, it was a chance to reverse into the long position, scalp it out a little bit, not nearly as big of a free fall. Like it was so easy, that short. It was instantly in the money. You're instantly able to add to it, never in trouble at any point on the position. However, there was a pretty clean reversal at those bottoms. Those caught a lot of people off, by, off guard. Uh, Google, weak name here today because of cloud, but I love those easy, even dollar levels that it gave you here today. And reason not to take out in front of a key level, but to add to your position. You don't always have to average down. You can average up by getting more shares when it's in the money for you. There's your trade of the day brought to you by Day Trade the World as always.